This is a story about a mom and her heart torn between two loves. Some days you're rocking it as mom and some days you're rocking it at work, but you never feel like you're doing both. Natalie loves those precious moments relaxing with her kids. She also loved her career in healthcare, but constantly stressed about how many hours it kept her away. And in consulting, when you're working like 60 plus hours a week, I think I just didn't see my kids. So, you know, you, you leave in the morning at 6.30 in the morning and you come home at 6.30 and my kids went to bed at 7. She wanted more time with her child, but didn't want to give up the career track she worked years to achieve. She tried to balance it all, but felt pulled in too many directions. I thought I was a worse mom because I was cranky because I didn't sleep and I... I was so nervous about what was like sitting in my inbox for work. Then a mentor shared some wisdom that opened up new possibilities. She's a working mom and has always been, you know, someone that I can confide in. She just said, you just have to keep your toe in the water. You can quit, you can do whatever you want, but you, she recommended and she didn't say I had to do it, but she's like, just stay working, do something. Because when you want to come back full time, because you probably will, it's going to be a lot easier. And I, I, I think that was the best advice I ever received. So Natalie made that very difficult decision to leave her company when she was pregnant again. I had a really good career tra trajectory there um, and I think that was even made more apparent when I quit because it took about a week and a half for them to even let me go um, because they didn't want me to go. After having her second baby, she found a new job, a work from home position in medical advocacy. To get that flexibility, she figured she'd have to take a pay cut. My husband's like, you need to ask for more, and I asked for more, and I got a lot more. So I empower women to ask for more. The worst they'll say is no. Now Natalie has a renewed sense of excitement about her field and her more demanding role at home as mom of a toddler and a baby. I think just having like a good support system around you is what helps you and keeps you going because everyone's going through the same thing and I don't always think that women are you know willing to talk about it out loud. But we do talk about it at Working Mom Warrior and we're giving you more inspiration to reach for your dreams in our next video. So check it out and subscribe to our channel to dump your stress and learn from real moms who share the truth about their struggles.